joined by Todd Snarns. Appreciate him uh, joining us. And uh, you got a brand new book out, Todd. Hope you're having a good start to your Easter weekend. Tell us about the book. Yeah, it's well, thank you for that. Uh, it's called Twilight's Last Gleaming, Can America Be Saved? And it's based on a speech uh, Ronald Reagan delivered uh, many years ago. He made an interesting observation about our national anthem. And he said it starts out with a question, not a declaration. Do you still see this, the flag flying? And that really is a question that all of us have to answer. You know, freedom is not passed along in our bloodstream. Every generation has to fight for freedom. And uh, I, I wrote the book as, as an encouragement to people and really as a call to action to say that we have to take a stand. Good-hearted people are going to have to fight every single day for freedom in this country. And if we don't, then I'm afraid the communists are going to win the day. We just talked about uh, the, the history of this country, and I'm sure, Todd, you have seen this happen, too. Um, I am really genuinely troubled by the number of kids, and I'm talking about teenagers, 20-somethings, in this country who've been convinced that America's history is one of deceit, uh, dishonesty, moral decrepitude. Um, how much do you think the struggle that we face today is about persuading those kids that America's history is not perfect, as no human's history is, but that America is a unique force for good, the likes of which, frankly, has rarely existed, if ever, in the history of the world. I think that is the number one issue. And, and I write about this in Twilight's Last Gleaming, this radicalization of our nation's education system. And this is the engine driving the radical change in our country. They're literally teaching a generation of kids to hate America, to hate every single one of our beliefs. They want to convince us that, that our country is illegitimate and that all of our founding documents should be destroyed and that we should start from scratch. And that's, you know, we're starting to see this manifested in the public square now as a lot of these kids uh, are graduating these radicalized high schools and colleges and bringing critical race theory and a lot of those concepts into the workplace. And we're starting to see a lot of blowback. But I gotta tell you something, guys, I'm encouraged by the numbers of young Gen Z boys and young men who are now pushing back against this radicalization and I think we could see some really interesting numbers in the presidential election as those kids go to the ballot box and really say, you know what, that's it. The, this is the line in the sand. We're not going any further. It's interesting because as much as we focus on Trump and Biden, Trump is 77, Biden is 81. The battle that they're facing now in 2024, to me, is just getting started for 2028. Uh, you're talking about young people being somewhat optimistic. What do you think the significance is of the upcoming election in terms of signifying where we're headed as a country? So we're facing an inflection point. And there was a big dust up uh, a few days ago about President Trump endorsing the God Bless the USA Bible, which, by the way, has been on the market for a number of years. Uh, so that's, it was not something that Trump created. But I contend that the bigger issue was not the Bible. They had problems with what Trump was telling people in that video. It's time for America to get back to church. It's time for America to get back to praying and to get back to God. Because ultimately, and when you go back and you study the modern conservative movement, you realize William F. Buckley Jr., Ron Reagan, Ronald Reagan, they understood that the fight against the communism, against the communist, was not a political fight as much as it was a moral and religious fight. And that's the fight that we're having in this country. So I do believe that if we can return to the faith of our founding fathers, we're going to be able to save this country. I mean, it's going to be a fight, uh, no doubt about it, but we've got to be willing to stand up and be counted. No doubt. Um, and uh, as you look forward, obviously it's a uh, good Friday. We're headed into, uh, into the Easter weekend. Um, and, and I was talking about the history of America, particularly if you focus since World War II. Um, you have a lot of kids out there. I know you talked about some of these kids rebelling against it, but you have a lot of, uh, I would say, young people who now want to call Donald Trump a Nazi. And what's interesting about that is many of their grandfathers and great-grandfathers fought actual Nazis. How much do you think the struggle is today that many young people have it so good that they are using actual historical evil to just be a representation of someone they might disagree with or even think they disagree with today? That, that's an interesting point. And, and I think that's true for the millennials. But I think for these Gen Zers, I think they literally see the, you know, what's happening in the economy. These kids are, are barely able to make ends meet right now. So I don't think they are seeing 
um, you know, the, the kinds of life that maybe you and I lived um, or even their older brothers and sisters. So I think, I think this is really why the tide is turning and these young people are now beginning to embrace what it looks like to be a conservative. I just got back from California at the Reagan Ranch where they had almost 200 high school kids who are identifying as conservative now, most of those kids from California. So um, let's see what happens here. I, I think people are just hungry for a change in this country. And um, I hope that my book is gonna be able to encourage people to embrace conservatism. Tell us one more time about the book and how people can get it. Sure, well, I appreciate that. It's, it's Twilight's Last Gleaming, Can America Be Saved? Uh, you can get a copy over at toddstarns.com, your favorite bookstore uh, as well. And I'm happy to sign a copy over on our website store, toddstearns.com. Todd, keep up the good work. Have a great Easter with you and your family. And we appreciate you making the time for us today. God bless. Happy Easter, guys. No doubt. Um, we'll take some of your calls. I want to close up with your emails, VIPs, uh, as well as uh, a lot of you out there who may want to weigh in here as we head into the Easter holiday weekend. Uh, but... I want to tell you one more time, you can get a free Samsung phone right now if you switch to Pure Talk. Free 5G Samsung cell phone, smartphone built to last, rugged screen, quick charging battery, top tier data security. Qualifying plans will start at just 35 bucks a month, unlimited talk, text, 15 gigs of data, and a mobile hotspot. Compare that value to your current cell phone bill. I bet it's half or more of what you pay with Verizon, T-Mobile, or AT&T. We have got a Pure Talk phone for my 16-year-old, soon to be for my 14-year-old as well. Makes a big difference for the Travis family. It'll make a big difference for you as well. Just dial pound 250, say the keywords Clay and Buck for your free brand new Samsung 5G smartphone. Start saving on wireless today. Again, from your phones, dial pound 250, say the keywords Clay and Buck. You can switch to the cell phone company my family relies on, Pure Talk. 